So when I first had zero sparks in Del Sol Valley, I wanted to make a high school that was actually in Del Sol Valley and Del Sol Valley's themed. So I went over to the gallery and I found this wonderful lot that was so nice. The architecture is just perfect and the landscaping is spot on. So this is by Subject Danny. Hi, this is Charity and welcome back to the 100 Infant Challenge. Now, if you remember from last time, we had a slight mishap. Zero Sparks, our original matriarch, where we got to choose all of our traits in our career or how we made money and everything like that. Well, she had a little mishap. So, yeah, she's dead. Now we're stuck with just her two daughters that we had. We have to get them up to young adult. So, Paris, which is the youngest, has to be the new heir. And we have to get Una old enough to age out and move out. So right now, I think the only thing Una has left to do is to get the irresponsible trait. So in order to do that, I have to do a whole bunch of actions that break curfew. And it doesn't look like any of this is breaking curfew, really. Even though she's outside and talking to someone. Okay, it is a little bit. All right, so it doesn't say break curfew specifically on the tasks. Oh no, don't ask a spray monster, that's silly. Okay, so basically I just have to keep on doing these interactions and hopefully she will get to be irresponsible eventually. But basically she won't be going to school. And I only have to get creativity level six in order to finish her aspiration. So she should be well on her way to getting everything done. Maybe we can do some things that actually get creativity and at the same time break curfew. All right, Paris, I know you're sick of going potty, but you only need potty and movement and then I can make you a child. So one more potty, hopefully that'll do it. And then she just needs to slide a bunch of times. And then Lilith, of course, is going to take care of the dogs and try to earn some money. So she can earn money with dust bunnies, which is a bit of a hack. So I know we only have 709 simoleons, but that's because we actually did up the hotel a little bit. That's another thing that we need to complete before Paris can take over is that Zero Sparks room at the hotel has to have a bed and everything that she would need as if she was living there. And Una, when Una passes away, is actually going to be in the same room with Zero Sparks. So she's only going to have one kid in, in there with her because the other child is the next heir. So the other child is Paris is going to have her own room that we need to decorate. Okay, your social is fine now. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to set up this tent and have her sleep outside. And maybe that will get her some irresponsibility. And where are you going to go set it up? Over here? Okay. And we'll just take a bunch of naps. All right, did you finish your potty skill? Uh, no, of course not. 95%. All right, well, you're going to have to go potty at the end of all that. Oh, and you need some attention. I'm sorry. No, let's not take out the trash. I know Lilith wants to clean because she's neat, but I have to let at least one floor become dirty and that's going to be a challenge. For those of you that don't know, we are also racing against an NPC family, the Munch family. They have not had any more children yet and their oldest teen is about to move out. They've had six children so far, but the oldest teen their birthday is supposed to be last week, but for some reason the game just hasn't aged them up yet. So I will wait until the game actually ages them up to move her out because they still have two household slots and no babies on the way. So that's where we are with the Munch family. And since today is Sunday, we actually do have to do a quest today. And for the quest today, we're going to need to get gold on a dinner party. So hopefully Lilith actually knows some people that she can invite. I'm not sure if she, well, yeah, she knows Luna and Carissa. Okay, she does know a few people. So we can get enough people, hopefully, to have a dinner party, but we're not 
able to invite Zero because unfortunately, Zero is a ghost and you can never get ghosts to come over. They have to basically randomly come over. Oh, and we're now level four. So I think the first thing that we're going to do is make sure that Paris gets to be a child and then she can actually participate in the dinner party. And that will give me one more sim that I have control over. And that's very important for completing goals. I also did change this back to stairs because now it doesn't matter. The only adult in the house is the one that is allowed to take care of the children. So yeah, that's where we are with that. Oh, all right. We got potty level three and we need one more level of movement. And she's actually in a good mood now. All right, one more slide should do it. Go Paris, go level five. All right, you can stop sliding now. You don't need to do it again. Okay, I think we need to make a cake because I don't think we have one. No, we do not. Oh, we got another frog. Okay, this is going to be way, way too easy. I don't know why it's so easy. We got a rainbow ball, a frog, a coconut, and a toy. I don't think I've ever gotten so many of these treasures before with dust bunnies. I mean, I've got a lot of treasures with dust bunnies when someone is a collector, but I, Lilith is not a collector and she seems to be getting them way more often. All right, we'll go ahead and put the tent in our inventory because it's daytime now and go take a bath. And I need Lilith to bake a cake. All right, let's fix Una's attention before she ages up to a child. Uh, maybe this will fix it, I don't know. She doesn't seem to be getting very much attention from this. Maybe I should just imitate the dog. Happy birthday, Paris. Blow out the candles. Okay, Paris aged up. So this is our next mother. She's going to be hot-headed. Okay, joy. Child aspiration is going to be creativity. And why are you in a bathing suit? Well, I guess that's your sleepwear. Okay, time to have a dinner party. Okay, I know you're both hungry, but you can't eat yet. We need to have a dinner party. Apparently you can't play with puppies. So let me give them a ball and see if that helps them have some fun. Maybe we'll hire a caterer this time. Eric, no, no, don't mop that. Okay, I'm going to take away her vacuum, so hopefully she won't use it. All right, Una completed her aspiration, so she's now a level six of creativity. And the only thing we have to do now is get her responsibility and range to be irresponsible, which is going to take a while. Okay, everyone can come get something to eat now. Although I think that Lilith can't actually eat so hopefully she doesn't need to. Okay, we're all listening to the stereo, right? Listen to it. Stop dropping that from the queue. Just listen. Okay, I'm not sure if we can do the have Sims become happy at the same time because no one tends to be happy. They tend to be confident or something else. So maybe we need to make a dessert. Stop talking to people and just make stuff. Oh, someone's a vampire. I did not know Viviana was a vampire. I think she's a daughter of one of the vampires. Okay, stop talking to Lilith, please. Talk to anybody else. All right, somebody bought the $40,000 frog. I still am going to try and sell the rest of it, though. Oh, look at who it is. It's a Samu. Okay, I'm not sure why Paris aged up as a toddler with that curly, bushy haircut, but I wanted to make sure that her child haircut at least matched the texture so she's gonna go with curly hair even though yeah it doesn't doesn't make sense from her parents because look asamu has short straight black hair i mean it looks pretty straight and then of course zero sparks had the same sort of fine textured hair straight hair so i'm not sure why we got the bushy hair for this one but you know sometimes that strange things like that does happen with genetics so we'll go with she has curly hair and i'm making a bunch of messes i was hoping asamu would come and clean them up because i think that if she, if una cleans them up she will gain responsibility and it will be like she didn't make a mess at all so i'm trying to avoid her actually cleaning up her own messes and hurry up buy these things there's only two things left buy them okay we sold one and now i have to make another yard sale 
The selling table is actually pretty slow. You don't sell things very often. And what I, my rule with the dust bunnies is going to be, if I can fit it on the table, I have to sell it. So that way I can't just get a whole bunch of frogs and plates. And I think I'm going to stop trying to earn dust bunny items after I get a frog or a plate because it's just ridiculous. Why are they fighting? Okay, they pushed each other. Okay, it's Monday at midnight. So we get to spend the winning meal. Hey, why are you coming in my tent? All right, well, we spun the winning wheel and we get 14%, which gives us another 5,782 simoleons for a total of 47,084 simoleons. Well, that wasn't that great of a percentage. So let's move on to the next quest. Play guitar for tips. Earn at least 200 simoleons. Well, I guess we got to get Lilith some guitar skill. And we befriended a dust bunny, which gets me another level of fabulously filthy, or at least another check mark on it. All right, let's go to bed. Oh, her responsibility is going down real fast this time. All right, we're about halfway there to irresponsible, and then we can age her up to a teen. All right, today is Monday, so Paris will have to go to school, but we will keep Una home. Oh, actually, it's summer vacation. <laughs> Okay, today is summer vacation day, so they won't have to go to school today. Okay, it looks like nobody bothered to clean up the messes that Paris made, or that, sorry, that Una made. I don't know why I get them mixed up. All right, let's try getting some of the social, or actually the creativity skill. So we need a table. I think we have one downstairs. Yes, we just need to get inspired and draw a picture. We actually should get started on making money with the guitar, but I want to finish at least these two pictures because she happens to be inspired for five more hours. And then we actually need to do a lot of point farming for Una because she needs to buy three reward traits that are all 4,000 points apiece. We need to get Seldom Sleepy, Professional Slacker, and Super Green Thumb. Those were all randomly chosen when she aged up. Okay, so she did her two pictures. Oh no, it's raining. Hurry, Lilith, get inside. Well, I guess she has an umbrella, so maybe that won't matter. All right, we have 45,102 simoleons. So we need 45,302 simoleons before we stop playing. And of course, Lilith is not any good at this. Okay, we've made about 24 simoleons and it's about 130. <laughs> yeah, this is going swell. Is there any place around here to get something to eat? The kids are kind of hungry. Okay, one way to ruin a relationship with another sim is to have a fight. So if we get Max bad relationship with a kid, so we can have Paris come and try and resolve differences she can try to fix the bad relationship and get herself some conflict resolution all right so now we're getting eight simoleons every time but i'm still not getting very much money from this we should have gone to a, a different place i don't think a library is a good place to play for tips and even if i was making the maximum amount i don't think you can make 200 simoleons in a single day all right, it's after midnight and we did buy some fireworks. So we were only supposed to get 45,242 simoleons, but we are still short of that goal by about 139 simoleons. So we did not make our goal this time. We will have to spin the losing wheel. And we got 1%. Okay, so we lose 451 simoleons. That would have been really bad if we actually won because we would have only won 451 simoleons. All right, and so our next quest is license a song for violin. Okay, that would have been good if we had zero still because she actually had some violin skill, but um, Lilith doesn't have any skill. So we've got to go back home and get a violin and start ASAP. But her charge is only half. 
also, I don't think she can drink the potions. I was going to have her drink a potion for charge because it says sleep Celebucerum. And that basically gives you a whole bunch of energy, but unfortunately, Lilith can't drink it because she can't drink anything or eat anything, even if it has a side effect that's desirable, which I guess makes sense since she's a robot. Yeah, unfortunately, Paris has a long ways to go to become a mediator because she actually has the hot-headed trait, which is negative for conflict re resolution. Oh, Una might actually get her irresponsibility in range it is going down really fast when she's sleeping in the tent. I may not even have to skip school in order to get her responsibility in range. Well, that's good. Oh no, the principal is calling. Answer it. Okay. Yeah, I'm not coming into school today. My responsibility is going down. Paris is grabbing her lunch from her backpack when she notices something red inside. It's a note shaped like a heart with the words, you are cute written on it and nothing else. She thinks it might be from the new boy who always seems to stare. Does she ask him or wait and see? I would say wait and see. Okay, so Paris decides to wait it out and see if anyone comes forward. Sure enough, at lunch, some friends laugh and wave to her. Hey, cutie, one taunts. Paris swads up the note and tosses it at them, laughing along with the joke. Someday it'll happen for real, but she's relieved it's not today. Actually, she's just going to have a a lot of kids and not fall in love because this is the 100 baby challenge. Okay, her responsibility is in range. Good, we only had to skip school once. All right, so we're going to add birthday candles and Paris is gonna age up to a teenager. Actually, this is not Paris, this is Una, sorry. Happy birthday, Una. I'm going to get them mixed up. I don't know why, they're not even similar. All right, so Una is a music lover and a loner. Joy, a loner that, well, at least she's not my next matriarch because that would be very, very unfortunate. So she had the creative genius as a child and she's going to have the freelance botanist aspiration as a teen. So she only has to finish the first level and I guess we'll just put birthday candles on it for now. Hmm, supposedly she can write songs faster, so maybe we should have her practice the violin skill. I mean, she is supposed to be a freelance botanist, but anybody completes the challenge that is able to, so I think we might have Lilith stop trying to do that. She's not very, yeah, she dislikes violin now because she's tense. And we're not going to have Una do any homework so we'll just get rid of that. We are, however, going to get a job as a barista. And Loki is aging up into an adult. Hooray for Loki. All right, now we have two. Oh yeah, you're terrible. Okay, we have two dogs and both of them are adults and small. Okay, the best I could do is about level four and she's not going to be able to license any songs until she's like level eight. So this is a fail. We're going to go ahead and spin the losing wheel and we got 88%. Wow, and we had a lot of money too. So that's going to lose us 38,985 simoleons. And we only have 5,316 simoleons left. Well, I really wasn't worried too much about that because even if we lose all the simoleons, we'll just get another frog or another plate. Okay, I guess since we're up in the middle of the night and there's nothing else to do, we might as well work on Una's aspiration because she needs to pass the first level of her aspiration and then she can become a young adult. Well, there's a couple of other things that she needs to do. I think she actually needs to get, oh yes, those reward points. That's going to kill us. So we might end up just doing her entire aspiration because she needs 12,000 satisfaction points to buy the three traits that she needs. Unfortunately, she rolled the ones that all cost 4,000 a piece. And we need to do that while keeping her responsibility low. So not going into work and not going into school. 
And then we need the single and loving it lifestyle, which should be pretty easy because all we have to do is just wait and she'll eventually get that. Although I think it does take a while as a teenager. So, well, we might be stuck with Una for a while, but that's okay. We're still waiting for Paris to be able to have kids. So it should be fine. So Wednesday, what is the challenge for today? We need to pick a random sim to control and only follow wants or complete aspiration steps for the entire day. But we may care for child sims or pets as needed. And our sim just happens to be Una. So I can't make her do anything unless it's an aspiration or a want. But that's okay. We can plant something. Okay, this is summer, so I need to find some summer plants. We can plant some plantains and some chrysanthemums. Probably just plant the flowers first and we'll figure it out later. So we're allowed to plant something. She also wants to become friends with Lilith, but Lilith is sleeping right now. And listen to any radio station from being a music lover. Okay, we're gonna hurry up and plant these plants. And also water them because if I leave them unwatered for some reason some other sim will come on water it for me and I don't want that I want her to finish this aspiration okay it seems that the plants cannot germinate underneath the stupid tree oh no she goes to work in an hour I don't think I can stop her from going to work either. maybe I can have her take a vacation day well I guess I'll let her go to work no, don't start watering things. Okay, yes, you can sit on the pool and talk to me, but don't water things, please. Oh, and this gets her responsibility. Oh, that's terrible. You have the worst combination of goals. You have something that has, you actually get responsibility because she's watering. Oh, that is so unfortunate. I think the dogs woke up. Paris. Well, you're going to go to school in an uncomfortable mood because you're going to be so tired by the end of the day. End of the day cleaning. Una is just about to hang up her spiffy white apron when her manager nods toward the sink. There's an old steel carafe that's been rotting there since the dark ages. Inside, burnt moldy coffee laps gray gooey froth. Wow. Cleaning it will take forever and be unspeakably gross. Tossing it out, however, yeah, throw it out. A <laughs> small performance loss. Uh, that's okay. All right, now let's get to planting. All right, well, since we have a teenager and I can't stop her from going to school, it's a good thing I got rid of her homework because she won't be able to do homework. However, she will be going to school. So we will choose to follow Una to school. And then what we'll do is bring Lilith with us. We also have to bring the two dogs. So we must get the pet bowl. And Loki, you look like you have fleas or something. But I think it's just dirt. I think you're just dirty. Okay, how bad is this helping your responsibility? Ugh, it's already out of range. Well, welcome to high school. So when I first had zero sparks in Del Sol Valley, I wanted to make a high school that was actually in Del Sol Valley and Del Sol Valley's themed. So I went over to the gallery and I found this wonderful lot that was so nice. The architecture is just perfect and the landscaping is spot on. So this is by Subject Danny and I didn't really change very much on the outside other than to add some activities and I did make this one section over here a little bit longer because I needed more space inside because this was supposed to be a house, not a school. But basically upstairs, we have the two classrooms and this decor is just so awesome. So I didn't really change the style of the decor. I added the things necessary for a high school and left the same color scheme but I did change a few things here and there so we do have this staircase in the middle and it didn't go to the third floor so all of the space up here was unusable but I put some stuff up here that I might want to use 
So I had to make a staircase up to the top because I basically ran out of room. I wanted to have a space for everything. Here's the gym. We have some yoga mats and some basically some treadmills and workout machines and bathrooms. Then on the ground floor, we actually have a nursery. And my plan here was to take Zero Sparks in to school with her teenagers and care for them in the nursery while her teens were going to school as long as she did not have any newborns. Because you can care for infants here and you can care for toddlers, but you cannot take your newborns anywhere with you. This took a long time to set up because I actually fully furnished this entire wing and changed the style because I wanted it to be more of a nursery or daycare style, but we won't really get to use it, unfortunately. I think Paris, when she grows up, is going to go to a different world and we're just not going to use this one. I'll have to build a new one in the, in the other world and that's just so sad. But we can use it for the teenagers while we have them. So this is the principal's office. And then here's some place with plants because Una needs to work on her gardening. So this will be useful. And then we have the outdoor pool area. This is pretty cool. I mean, basically they have everything here. I wanted it to look like a rich kid's school. And downstairs, I actually built this entire downstairs. We have a basketball court and a photo studio where they can actually take underwater pictures, a lot of different places to change clothes. Then we have a bowling alley and a science workshop. I didn't really spend too much on time on that because I, at that point I was just putting all the skill items in there like the vet stuff and the science lab stuff and I really ran out of energy in order to stylize everything but we also have a spa. So basically every skill in the game here has a spot. So you can practice anything you want, except I think maybe farming and cottage living. I kind of left that out. So there's no cows, no chickens. And basically because you can't have them at a school, you have to kind of cheat in order to get chickens. Well, a cow might work, but I think you have to actually set it as residential first and then it's just a big mess yeah so I did I think get cows and chickens to work at a restaurant but I think they were kind of glitchy at the high school so I didn't even when I had a let's play in cottage living I didn't use them at the school all right so the first thing that we're going to do is try to take care of the dogs because this one really needs a bath Come on, Loki. Let's go take... Oh, come on. Why won't you take a bath? Okay, maybe if I pick you up and take you inside, that might work. Okay, maybe now I can give you a bath. Okay, she's going to be late for class, and she might get caught and have to have detention, but I don't really care because I don't want her to do very well in school. Fire drill. Okay. Well, you got lucky. You got a fire drill in the middle of class. Now... Are you almost clean, Loki? This takes forever. Okay, we want to listen to alternative music. I think there is a radio up here somewhere. There it is. Okay, now she wants to dance. That's easy. Okay, she wants to attend a class, so I guess we'll go sit in on one. I think you have to go to the whole thing, though, for it to count. It's kind of strange that they're sitting on the floor. Some of them are sitting in the desk, and those students were sitting at a desk but then they stopped oh they can't write on the desk when they're trying to take notes because of the laptops oh i see that's a little bit of a flaw oh well okay as i suspected paris is completely exhausted but she did get her grades up so she is a b student okay it says keep your sim in the same lot for eight hours we got here at 8 a.m so i think we have to stay until four at least and it's four. Why doesn't this count unless I have to be at the home lot? All right, we need to achieve level four gardening skill in a fall, five different plants. Okay, this staying on the same lot for eight hours is not working at the school. So I guess we're gonna go home now. Okay, we have to try and avoid getting responsibility. So what I'm going to do 
is just harvest and plant and hopefully someone else will do the weeding and watering. And Loki has learned to go outside. Good. Then he won't be uncomfortable anymore. Okay, she really just wants to go to pet. I can't make her do anything else. Why, thank you, Paris, for taking care of the plants. And that's the end of another day. Okay, now it's time to spin the winning wheel. We have 17% and 5,130 simoleons. So that gives us another 872 simoleons. Not the best, but at least it's not a loss. Now we have a total of 6,002 simoleons. So yeah, your bladder is low. You should probably take care of that before you go back to bed. All right, so next we have to buy everyone an outfit at Thrifty that they have to add to their available outfits. So that's kind of expensive. If you have a lot of Sims, uh, I don't think we'll be able to purchase one for Lilith. Yeah, I don't think she wears clothes, so I might I exempt her from that. But she's not really a family member. She's kind of just a robot. Whoops, we need to tune up. Okay, you didn't do any tune ups for yourself. I don't know why. Oh, you were going to self repair. Oh, okay. You just hadn't gotten around to it yet. That's really strange because I would think you would repair yourself once you get even a little bit dilapidated, but no, she waited until she was completely in the red before she decided to repair herself. Okay, we're going to have Una skip work today. And she's probably going to skip school, too. And you probably didn't even do your homework. No, you didn't. Oh, well, I think you'll still be fine. Okay, now we're going to give Bubblegum a bath because she seems to always get, or he, he seems to always get dirty. Okay, Lilith now needs to eat three meals that are spoiled. She can't eat. She needs to bathe or shower three times in a dirty shower or tub. She can't get wet. She needs to not wash her hands after using the toilet. She can't use the toilet. Okay, so this aspiration is impossible to do as a servo. That's fine. We don't really have to complete it. Well, here we are at Bubble Tea Thrif Thrifty Shop. Okay, she can create a look. She can probably buy it, but I don't think she can wear it. All right, I'm not going to spend too much time on this one because I know that Lilith is probably going to have an issue wearing it. So let's just give her a nice dress and some shoes. And that's it, basically. I have to name it. Y2K. Yep, because you're not going to be able to wear this. It's 180 simoleons. All right, robots don't have outfits, so I can't really change her outfit and this is probably going to bug her if she can actually wear this. So I have saved the game just in case. Because it seems like... Okay, it just dropped it out of the queue. All right, well, she bought one. She just cannot wear it. All right, for Una, she is a gardener. So I'm not sure what I really want to have for hers. But her main outfit is like a gardening outfit. So maybe we can have something that's more teenage vibes uh maybe comfy maybe green not liking my options here on the comfy and green yeah not that one that one seems to be a little preppy i guess she does go to a school that is like that but hmm. i guess we'll have to go with that one because that one seems to be the only one that is reasonable Okay, and those shoes aren't too bad. So that will be Una's look. And maybe they have some sunglasses or something. No, I'm not really feeling the glasses. We'll just do this as it is. Outdoor core. Uh, it's not really outdoor core, but yeah, we'll go with that. Only 70 simoleons. What? Kids can't buy anything here? Oh, that's so disappointing. The only one that gets to add anything is Una then. Okay, I think I'm really liking how she looks in that because her hairstyle actually matches the outfit. So I'm going to make this an everyday outfit with MC Command Center. If you go to MC Dresser, Copy Paste, Copy Outfit, and then MC Dresser, let's do Change Outfit. Okay, she's wearing 
that one already. And then we just need to add outfit to category, change outfit. And this is the new one it added, I believe. Yeah, that's the second one. Okay, and then we're going to paste it and hopefully it works. Last time I tried this, it didn't really work. Okay, and there we are. That's her second outfit. Now we can go home. Oh, and of course, she now doesn't like preppy style because I rolled for her likes and dislikes. Great. What about this one? Is this one better? It's not preppy. It doesn't seem to matter. She still doesn't like it. Okay, fine. Go to bed. And that's the end of another day. So spinning the winning wheel, we get 8%. And having 6,341 simoleons, we earn 507 simoleons. For a total of 6,848 simoleons. All right, everyone goes to bed. All right, and Friday's quest is going to be win a game of Sabak. Yeah, that's a tough one. All right, the first game is Sabak. So since I have a want to become friends with Megumi, let's see if playing games with her will make that faster. Okay, don't think you can chat while you're playing Sabak, and it doesn't seem like we're gaining any friendship. This is a pointless act. Oh, I think we lost. Yeah, we lost at Sabak. Okay, we'll have to try and play again. I think they play again automatically. At least that's what it looks like. I think she lost again. Oh, this is not going well. Maybe I should have the robot play. She doesn't seem to be gaining any logic skill, and I think this is based on logic skill. Okay, you're not winning. We have to switch to someone else. And, of course, now Lilith is low on charge. We're going to try playing with Jessie. She's one of Wolfgang's kids because her last name is Munch, and I believe she's the first one that moved out of their house as a teenager. Or as a young adult, I should say. No, you're not going to go play on my computer. What are you doing? You have to talk to me. You can't just walk into my house and play on my computer. Oh no, she keeps losing at Sabak too because she's embarrassed. Okay, did you guys make friends yet? No, not yet. <laughs> she lost again. Great. I'm not going to win. Oh, now she's never going to win. Oh, did we win? Or we just got a good hand? No. Oh, she did win. Okay, so we actually won only one hand though. But I guess that's enough. Yeah, from winning Sabak. It's easy to play confidently when you know you have the best hand in the game. Okay, now you need to repair yourself. And then you probably should go to bed. We did that with like three minutes to spare. That was pretty close. Oh no, I moved the bed and now there's not a ladder. Oh, that is really weird. How do you get the ladder to come back? Okay, maybe if I turn it around, that's going to suck though. I need another light. All right, she eventually did become Mayumi's friend, I suppose. Megumi. Yes, so she has now four friends, including Zero, who's dead. All right, we get to spin the winning wheel, and we got 42%. So that gives us another 16,956 simoleons for a total of 57,328 simoleons. So we will be able to probably finish the two bedrooms that I need to finish at the hotel. But I might wait until the end of the week to do that and visit the shops. Because I think the shops have actually a pink shop this time, which is perfect for Zero Sparks. All right, today's quest is to befriend a smart speaker or talking toilet. So I guess we should buy a smart speaker. Okay, she finally got the listen to jazz. Now she wants to become disliked by Janessa. Aren't you already enemies with Janessa? We are already disliked. I hate it when they get these wants. She's already disliked. So that means that she won't actually be able to become disliked. Oh, good. Positive conflict resolution. Step in and stand up for your friend if you yeah, always stand up for your friend if you see a bully or tell a teacher later or something like that. That didn't really help too much, but at least we're about halfway there. Okay, we're almost there. I think asking for a joke is the only one that actually increases your reputation with this smart speaker or friendship with this smart speaker because playing trivia doesn't seem to work. You can insult or yell at, but I know that doesn't work. That's actually to lower your reputation. All right, are we friends yet? Oh yes, we're friends. All right, you can stop talking to the speaker now that we've accomplished that. 
I hired a gardener. Should I also hire a butler? Because we have a scheduled maid, we have a scheduled gardener. <laughs> Should we just get a butler at this point? Because the butler is always here and he'll even fix things. But where should we put him? That is the question. I don't really have another bed spot. I guess he could sleep in the treehouse. That would actually be kind of funny if he would actually sleep in the treehouse. No, I think I'll expand this basement a little bit and give him a cot in the basement with the gnomes. I could also just give him a bunk bed above the servo's bed, but it's kind of weird to have the butler sleeping in the same room with the girls. The robot, at least, is more like their parent. Hopefully, I don't get a butler that has like the recycle disciple or something stupid like that. Hopefully, the butler will come up here and water all of these plants. Oh good, she is watering all of my plants. Why does the butler never clean the lint tray? I can understand they don't put away the clothes, but I hate it when they don't clean the lint tray. All right, she's completed her aspiration. Now we just need to work on this responsibility, not responsibility, okay. We need conflict resolution, which we're actually pretty close to getting. All right, that's the end of another week, but we get to spin the winning wheel and we get 66%, which is another 59,976 for a total of 150,849 simoleons. Not too shabby. So we're going to have Lilith just repair herself and then we're going to go to bed. We should probably do our facial cleanser first and use the toilet and then you can go to bed okay i don't know if we finished our talk like a pirate should probably finish that or make sure oh yeah you you have not finished your talk like a pirate so you're going to have to finish that before you go to sleep but before i go for the day i wanted to show you what i did with the hotel so as you know or if you've seen the previous episode this room was already finished but I redid the layout. So now instead of the hallway being along the windows, the hallway is in the interior of the building. And that allows me to give this room right here two windows, which is much better than no windows because it's supposed to be a bedroom. Now, originally I was going to give Zero this furniture and this paper or wallpaper, but I decided that this probably suits Paris better because Paris likes green and I didn't know that last time. And Zero likes pink and we have a lot of pink in the shops this time so what i do with the shops is i download four shops off of the gallery and i put all of the items in a single room and then i pick out which items i would like to use and put them in the bedrooms or wallpaper or bathrooms or or wherever it needs to go and then i take the difference of the lot value and I subtract that from the household funds because the family doesn't actually own this lot and they can't really own it. They could own it as a business like a retail store, a restaurant, or a vet clinic or something like that. But I really didn't want to do it that way because look at all of this mess. They don't really own this part of the hotel yet because they've only renovated this small portion. I did also clean out the upstairs. So now we have a cupcake machine, a small seating area, a grill, and a bar. Well, actually this is more like a, uh, not a bar, but countertops that you can sit at. So there isn't a bar over here yet, but maybe there will be later. So this is gonna be a blue room. And this one is going to be the green tiger room. And this one is going to be the pink room and probably Zero's room. So I'm just going to set that up and then I'll show you how it looks. Okay, I think I'm happy with how this turned out. So here we have Zero's room. It's pink. I thought the tigers were a bit much because she's actually a dog lover, but what can you do? I didn't really like any of the other pink wallpapers they gave me. So the bathroom is also pink. It has the black and white tile, but I think that's okay. And the tiger stripes 
is what makes that work a little bit. So that's the only reason why I kept the tiger stripes or the tigers on the wallpaper instead of going for the plain pink wallpaper. And so there's nothing really on this wall, but I did include a little dining area. And of course she's got a desk now with a chair and a laptop. Then we have her violin and a gaming console and a TV that was there before. Uh, I put it on a pink dresser and there's the tea and a little coffee table. So this is pretty much done, I would say, because I do have a pet bowl and a pet bed. So that should take care of everything for zero. Now I'm a little bit unsure with this bathroom because definitely the wallpaper needs to change because this is the best that I can do right now and I don't have any better choices yet. So there's the black and white marble flooring which unfortunately seems to not go with very many of the wallpapers. And of course we've got the tigers because it's all in green and I tied in the pink with this rug. This rug actually makes the pink work and so I can have the pink couch in here and the pink dog bed and the pink dog bowl. Now, I didn't really want a seance table in here, but this is the best I can do for some place to eat for right now. I think Sims will actually eat on this table if you let them. And then we have the little makeup station and this room is actually looking pretty complete. The bathroom, like I said, the wallpaper needs to change and she only has a shower right now, but that might be okay because this is going to mostly house adult ghosts. So I don't think you can have, no, you can't have toddler ghosts. You can have child ghosts, but there will never be a toddler ghost in here. Basically, we won't have toddlers. We will have dogs though. So she should have a bathtub since she has a dog that is going to live in here, but I really don't have a good bathtub for her yet. I did this bathroom as well and I really love this artwork, how it matches the wall, even though it's kind of silly. So I put that up. We also have a completely black toilet and a black mirror, but I have not seen anything that matches that yet. We also have a shower in here, but nothing else really matches that bathroom, but it's fine. That's like the guest area bathroom. Then we have the upstairs. I didn't really add too much to this. I did get some bar stools and put the desk up here and the dance studio thing. So I think I'm missing a chair. I don't know what happened to that. Sometimes randomly things will just dis disappear. I don't know why The Sims does that. It's like, why did you get rid of my chair that was there? Okay, that's the chair I had up here. I have a chess table, I, that is new. I did move one extra chair out here. Now, as far as the common areas, I know there's still a lot of trash, but I have basically cleaned them up except for the trash and we made new doors and everything is of course that pink wallpaper for now uh we may or may not keep that we'll see i redid the pool area and everything is clean and perfect except for the trash so we're, we're going to have to come in here manually and pick that up because it doesn't delete it when i delete the rooms and i think there should be some effort in cleaning this up so eventually we'll come here with the sims and we'll manually pick up all this trash and and someone included this enormous gnome in one of the shops. And so I just had to keep it exactly how it is. However, um, he doesn't fit inside. So I have to leave him outside by the gate. I think I'm gonna put him right there. So he's guarding the gate for us. But that's it for our renovations. I think it looks pretty nice compared to what it used to look like. And we'll get some more things for the common areas later, but I really wanted to just make sure that they were cleaned up. Then of course we also have to work on the other rooms, but we're going to leave those to future generations. So once I do get the common areas cleaned up and furnished, then I'm pretty much going to stop spending my money on that. Uh, I think by that time, hopefully Paris should be ready to take over because otherwise it's just, go it's just getting ridiculous because we have so much money from 
these dust bunnies. I had 151,000 simoleons and after doing all of this renovation, I still have 10,091 simoleons left. It actually might be a little bit less because I forgot it deleted my chair, but it's a little bit less than 10,000. It just seems like the dust bunnies are overpowered. I might have to stop using them. At least it's just for a little while because we're trying to get Paris to grow up to an adult. Anyway, this is Charity. Thanks for watching.